All over Maine, people are adapting to a new reality, one that has, for now, taken away even some of the most innocent of pleasures, like sitting in a circle and playing music. That kind of performing is at the heart of Maine Fiddle Camp. The Maine Fiddle Camp will not operate in its usual way this summer, so it has pivoted and is getting ready for a virtual camp that's coming up in a few days. I'll tell you more about that in a moment, but first, I'll look back to what the camp was like last summer when we visited before anyone had heard of the coronavirus. Before we could see the place we were trying to find, we could hear it. The woods open up, and there you are, at the main fiddle camp in Montville. Everywhere you turn, you hear music. Performed by about 350 of the happiest, most relaxed people you will ever meet. There are 52 weeks in the year. Where does this rank for you? It is my favorite week of the whole year. Why? It's just the music. You play from 9 o'clock in the morning until 2 o'clock in the morning. The main fiddle camp is unusual in that it doesn't just tolerate musicians of widely varying ages and abilities, it wants them. It's a rare camp with three generations of campers. Well, it works here because I insist that that's how it, it, it goes, and people really appreciate that. The all-inclusive, everyone is welcome philosophy is rare because in music, talent matters. Skilled musicians want to play with other good musicians, and novices may be intimidated by them. But here, every musician, whether five years old or 75, whether a novice or a virtuoso, is respected and encouraged. It's not like some styles of music where you're doing that wrong. There's none of that. When they get up on stage and they're just beginner fiddlers and they've been working all week long to to learn how to play some tunes, they end up getting the loudest and the greatest ovations for their performances. One thing you notice early on is that the name, Maine Fiddle Camp, is a bit misleading. Sure, there are fiddlers, plenty of them. But there are also lots of other instruments, some of which don't even have strings. It doesn't matter what someone plays, there's always jamming going on. And the best of it usually doesn't start till around midnight. You want to go to bed, trust me, because you got to get up in the morning, but how do you leave? How do you leave a great jam? Carter Logan first picked up a banjo more than 50 years ago. He's good, really good. But it wasn't until he'd spent a few one-week sessions at fiddle camp that he discovered something about the quality of his playing. Oh, when I leave on that Friday, the camp runs out on Friday, I'm money. I'm money. And then Saturday, I'm still pretty good. And by Sunday, I'm back to me. And it took me a few years to figure out that if you want to sound like you play 10 hours a day, you got to play 10 hours a day. In keeping with the everyone is equal philosophy, the staff and the campers are treated the same. Many of them sleep in tents they bring, Volunteers pitch in to help make the meals. Melt it out, oh, them beans and holes, be no beans. And the chopping of vegetables goes more quickly when everyone is singing a work song. Oh, and beans and holes, be no beans. It's not hard to see what kind of pull this place exerts. It's just nice to be able to have a lot of stuff to do with nice people. You've come here about a dozen years. Mm -hmm. How many more are you going to keep coming? As long as it's here, I'm coming. I wouldn't miss it. <laughs> the guy who makes it all run is Executive Director Doug Protzik, whose love for this camp is evident. Yeah, somebody's ringing the bell for me. <laughs> the bell rings not because there's a deadline or an emergency. <laughs> it's just that once again at the main fiddle camp, it's time to play. If we could hear, 
They've got a good thing going here, and they all know it. I tell you what, in 25 years from now, we'll just do the same thing again. <laughs> Well, they're not going to be doing it this year, and that's a little bit sad because, Amanda, I'm not joking when I say I think I have never seen so much happiness concentrated in one place as I saw at that camp. Just watching that and listening to that, it warmed the soul. And what Carter Logan, the instructor, said was true. He wasn't exaggerating because we heard this from numerous people. They start playing 9 in the morning. They keep going until well after midnight, and he said that really the best music doesn't start until about 11 p.m. And I get it. You can't leave a good jam sesh. You really can't. Yeah, no, it's, it's just <laughs> there's, a, there's absolute magic when they're all around that circle, around that campfire at midnight just jamming. So the Maine Fiddle Camp is holding a virtual camp this week on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It'll feature workshops, jam sessions, and more. You can find more information about that virtual camp in the 207 section of our website and mobile app. And we will actually bring you a song performed by a bunch of fiddle camp musicians coming up in just a few minutes.